Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I am going to be reviewing the Scout lenses from Warby Parker. As always, my reviews are 100% honest and I'm gonna be comparing it to my normal dailies that I wear from AccuView. I definitely have sensitive eyes that in terms of they get pretty dried out easily. Uh, the ones that I have personally last me about like 10 hours, a little bit more if I put on some eye drops. They personally don't feel like anything is on my eyeball, so I really like them for that. The one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the cost. So when I saw that Warby Parker was coming out with Scout, I was instantly obsessed because I love Warby Parker glasses so much. I think they're very quality and a good price. So when I saw that these were significantly cheaper than my contact lenses, you know, and it says it has lasting hydration and it has less plastic usage than a normal contact lenses, it just was like, hey, let's do this. Let's try it out. So here I am trying it out for you guys. Let's get to that. So my eyes get pretty dry, so I'm gonna put on some lubricating eye drops just to give this contact like its best shot. All right, so on my left eye, I'm gonna put my normal contact, which is AccuView Oasis. And on my right eye, I'm gonna put the Scout lenses from Warby Parker. It's hard to put contacts in using a viewfinder. <laughs> put both in. One thing I want to say is that, so the Scout lenses are a lot less plastic. So this is a lot less plastic than my AccuView Oasis. But that being said, as you saw, I wasn't able to make it. And sometimes that happens, even though I've been wearing contacts for a couple of years. So the amount of liquid in there really isn't a lot. Um, if you need to like give yourself a second or third try. You know, so if you are gonna go with these, I would recommend getting one of those like reusable um, contact cases to put some solution in just to have as like a backup. So in terms of how it feels, my AccuView Oasis ones right now, just first glance, I don't feel them as much on my eye as the Scout lenses. It's not that big of a difference, but I do wanna highlight that difference. As of right now, they feel both pretty good with moisture, but we'll see as the day goes on. So it'll be interesting to see how the how the Scout lenses compare to my AccuVie Oasis. See you guys in a couple hours. It's been about four hours of me wearing the contacts from Warby Parker and my normal everyday one. And I feel so bad saying this, but it really feels so uncomfortable, the Warby Parker one. You know, I love Warby Parker's glasses and all that, but I really need to take this contact out. It's only been four hours. It feels like there's something very hard in my eye. It doesn't feel as natural as my AccuView one. So unfortunately, even though it is much more cost effective and less on waste, I'm gonna have to go with my regular one. It just didn't work, so. So guys, that's a tea. I really didn't like wearing these contact lenses at all. They were so uncomfortable on my eye, not a lot of hydration in there. And it pains me to say this because I normally love Warby Parker so much as a brand. Hopefully they come out with a contact lens that's more comparable to the dailies ones that I use personally. If you have eyes that are like mine, I don't recommend them, but it is only $5 to try them out. So if somehow you don't have sensitive eyes and you wanna take a gamble on it, sure, go for it. I personally don't recommend them. So that concludes my honest review on these contact lenses. If you guys found this video super informational, please give me a thumbs up. I always genuinely appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click my face right here and you can watch some of my other Warby Parker haul videos right here. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.